This morning, guys, I wanted to talk to you about graduation. Now, have you guys ever been to a graduation or you, you guys have graduated kindergarten, right? Yeah. Did you got, what'd you have, what'd you wear on your head? A cap, a, a cap, yeah. So whenever the ceremony was over and, and everything was all done, what, what did you do? Or if you went to a graduation, what did you see the people do with their, with their cap? They threw it in the air, right? Did they just do a little bit? Did they just? No, they threw it. They threw it. <laughs> That's right. So they try to go as high as they could go with it. Um, and this Sunday, we are going to recognize our graduates, our high school graduates, for, for completing this chapter uh, in their life. And, and we're going to ask God's blessings um, for the next chapter. That, uh, that's part of their lives. But I think since this morning is also Ascension Sunday, that, that, that act of throwing our hat in the air and what Jesus did when he went into the air, you know, there, there's some symbolism and si- significance there. So just as the same as that hat went up, up into the sky, or we tried to throw it straight up in there, did it stay up in the air? No, what happened to it? It, it came back down, and hopefully not in somebody's eye, right? I think that's why, because if I would have demonstrated, it probably would have hit somebody <laughs> if I threw it back down. But in the same way, Jesus Christ, that he went up into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, and he is our advocate for us, he is also, he's not going to stay up there. He's coming back down, just as that cap, as that cap comes down to us and that he is going to come again, and then he's going to gather his people so that uh, the celebration that we see in graduations, where you see everybody cheering and, and having a, an amazing time, it's only going to be amplified 10, 100,000 times more when our Savior and King comes down again and that we, could, oh, that we start that, uh, that new kingdom that's here on earth and as it is in heaven. So um, just if... There may be a few more graduations to come, but just whenever you think, whenever you see that cap going up in the air and then it coming back down, let it, let it be a reminder that our Lord and Savior is up in the air, but he will come down again. And what a great and glorious day that will be. All right, do you guys, do you guys agree with that? Just nod your head sheepishly if you, if you agree. Okay, all right, good deal. So let's, uh, let's go to God in prayer and thank him for... Uh, sending his son here and up there with him now, but also that he will come again. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was um, the the perfect image, um, the the second Adam, Lord, that that he lived a sinless life, that he was um, an example of what you had called humanity to be, um, that... uh, the compassion that he had for those that were less fortunate, the, the healing and restoration that he did to those around him. Um, but then also, Lord, that he was uh, a willing sacrifice, that he is our atonement for the sins that we all for, fall short from. Lord, we thank you um, that you did not just even spare your son for the sake of us, that we could be called sons and daughters of the Most High. And uh, we rejoice today, Lord, that he is ascended to heaven, that he, uh, that he went into the clouds, that he, um, that he is uh, by your right side, that he is uh, our advocate, Lord, that he is uh, standing in the place of us. When, whenever we call on Jesus' name and that we accept him as our Lord and Savior, when you look at us, Lord, you see your son. And we thank you. Uh, we're marveled at this, this wonderful mystery, this wonderful mercy and grace. And uh, we, we just pray that as we um, anticipate that day where he comes again, Lord, that we um, be a living sacrifice, that we, uh, we model our lives like Jesus so that when people see us, that they see Jesus Christ. Lord, we, we look forward to that day. Um, we just pray whether um, we see Jesus um, on our last chapter of life or that he comes down, um, that we, we look forward to that day, because what a glorious day that will be. We pray this, Lord, in your son's precious name, and all God's kids say, Amen. Amen. Amen.